Hi Aquarius. That was like a cheerleading move. Sorry about that. Back in the days. Welcome to your love reading for mid-May to mid-June. Hold on a second. All of a sudden my throat got really, really dry. So some of you need to clear your throat chakras. Drink some water. Um, speak your truth. That might have something to do with this reading. <coughs> so this is your love reading mid-May to mid-June. Yes, we're almost to June. Um, this energy reading is about the person's energy that you're bringing into the reading. So whoever you're thinking about during this reading, um, that's whose energy we're going to be looking at. It could be a significant other, it could be a spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, twin flame, soulmate, somebody you're in contact with, somebody you're not in contact with, um, could even just be a crush, somebody that you're thinking about that you would like to get to know a little bit better. You want to know what's going on in their world. That's who we're looking at. Um, we'll look at their um, headspace, their heart space, their environment, and then the energy between the two of you. Even if you're not in contact, 3D contact, you still have an energetic connection between the two of you. So keep that in mind. Um, so we will look at all of their energy. If you would like to get the extended where I clarify each position with tarot, you can go check the description box below this video and you can go to my website or you can go to Patreon and become a patron. Um... Also, people have asked me um, about the sun, moon, rising, and Venus. That can be related to all of it, especially your moon sign or your Venus. So if you are watching your moon sign or your Venus sign for the energy of the other person, especially with Venus sign, if you don't know what your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs are, there is a link in my description box where you can go put in your birth information and get all of that. Yes. So, I know everybody, does, there's a lot of people that really don't like the talking in the beginning, but there's good information in the beginning of this video. I, I think it's good information. At least you know what you're watching. At least you know that it's not your energy you're looking for. If you want to look at your energy, then you'll look at the signs of the other person and see what's going on with you this month. So in your person's headspace, oof, we have clarity of belief, which is the ace of swords, and we have darkest fears, which is the nine of swords. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys that I do have a limited amount of readings, 30-minute uh, live personal readings available on my website if you would want to get in line to be scheduled for that. Okay. Clarity of belief and darkest fears. I feel like they're trying to figure some things out in their life. They're trying to figure out um, things in their existence. They really need... Um, their their focus is um, feels very like they're kind of they might be stuck in their ego. They I feel like they're trying to solve problems. I feel like they're trying to come up with answers to problems. They might be a little snappy. This Ace of Swords sometimes can represent kind of like snapping at other people because they're not really sure about what's going on in their world, so they cut down other people. Um, hopefully that's not happening to you, but it feels like they're stressed out. More than anything, it feels like your person is really, really stressed out. Let's see what's going on in their heart space. Aquarius person's heart space, mid-May to mid-June. I seriously, I can't believe it's already June. It's crazy. All right. So we have balance. This is temperance in the traditional tarot. Um, this is balancing out your heart and your mind. It's also about healing and allowing yourself to just be chill. So even though they're really super stressed out in their headspace, it could be that the reason why they're stressed out is because they need to get answers, but they're also trying to balance out their emotions. It feels like they're trying to be patient with themselves. Temperance is all about patience, but it's also about um, head and heart decisions. Yeah, there's really a big emotional quality, healing quality that I'm feeling from this balance card. And them just needing to like chillax, chill out a little bit. Let's see what's going on in your person's environment. 
Ooh, there it is. That one, like, seriously wanted to come out. Oh, my God, more balance. So they might be stressed out about money. This is find balance. It's the two of pentacles in the traditional tarot. So they might be a little bit stressed out about money, and that could be the main cause of what's going on in their world. Kind of feel like... I kind of feel like they're, you know how you can feel okay in your heart space? Like you can feel the love, you can feel the balance, you can feel peace and ease and all of that stuff in your heart space, but you're still stressed out about the things that are going on in your life. You're stressed out about the job. You're stressed out about like all of the extras, like the extra little things that you have to get done, stuff like that. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like there's, they're trying to find a balance. Um emotionally and physically because they're super stressed out about and they have decisions they need to make they're really trying to you know because like if you think about it in the traditional tarot the two of pentacles is somebody who's juggling right juggling two pentacles so it's like they have decisions to make to gain balance in their life to gain like not even distraction but just like having the balance all right See what's going on with the energy between the two of you. Energy between the two of you. Oof. All right. So we have awaiting results. The energy between the two of you awaiting results, which is the seven of pentacles. Okay, so patience goes along with temperance, right? Um, you're planting seeds together. The energy between the two of you, like you've already planted the seed to grow things. You've already looked into the future of how you want this to go. You've already kind of come to a conclusion or have decided like this is where, the, this is the direction that I want things to start moving in. I'm gonna start planting the seeds now. And moving in that direction that could be you that could be them that could be both of you are like discussing it together or if you're not in contact with each other you both generally have an idea of how you want things to work out how you want things to go so i actually really love this because even I, I feel like the stress that's going on in their head i feel like they kind of just need a time out like they need to take a nap basically um the stress that's going on within themselves doesn't have to be this serious. It doesn't have to be this bad. Um, it feels very much like if they just kind of allowed themselves to move in a new direction, not sit and think about everything so hard, it would be easier to move. It would be easier to grow. It would be easier to evolve. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is trying to say. It's like you don't Yes, you're sitting here waiting patiently, but you've already started the process. So why are you so afraid kind of thing? All right. If you would like to get the extended to this, I'm going to clarify each position with tarot. You can check the description box below. You can go to my website, order it there, or you can go to Patreon and become a patron. I love you guys. I'll see you for your June readings, which will start coming out this week. Bye.